I don't know, but that that is crazy. It's empty. Like, just how? How has she done that with her fingers? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be copying or following Bella Porch's makeup routine because she is one of the most recent celebrities to upload her makeup routine and her skincare actually, but it says Bella Porch's signature TikTok makeup routine, Beauty Secrets with Vogue. And if you guys have been subscribed for a while, you will know that I've done quite a few of these where I follow celebrities makeup tutorials that they posted on Vogue. I love filming these because every single celebrity does their makeup in a completely different way and it's always really different to how I do my makeup. Also, if you don't know who Bella Porch is, she is a huge TikToker and she gets so much hate for no reason, I think. I think she seems really sweet. She's recently come out with a song called Build A Bitch and it's really catchy. So I think without further ado, we should just get into it. So I will put Bella on the screen here and have her video so that you guys can kind of follow along. Forgot to mention as well, she actually has lash extensions. So I thought before this video, I didn't just go and get a full set of lash extensions. I've actually never had lash extensions before, but what I did do is stick on some individual lashes to sort of give the same same look, but not quite as good. And they are a little bit wonky, so don't look too close. Okay, hopefully that lighting is still okay and it's not too dark. Let's get up this video. And she does also talk through her skincare routine and her hair care as well. But as usual with these, I'm just gonna focus on the makeup. She just does her skincare and she finishes with SPF. She doesn't actually use a primer, she goes straight in with foundation. So let's watch. And I'm done with my skincare routine. My first step for my makeup is foundation. Mm -hmm. I use this by Morphe. I just take like, a, like one pump. That was a quite a big pump. <laughs> I don't have this specific foundation, so I'm just gonna use a one that has a similar sort of finish. I, I downloaded TikTok last year around January for fun because my friends were like recommending it. See, how crazy is that? She literally downloaded TikTok a year ago for fun and now she's one of the most successful people on the platform. Like, the amount that can change in a year is wild. I grew up with anim watching anime. The girls in the anime, they have like really like rosy cheeks and that's how I got inspired to do like my rosy pink cheeks on TikTok. So I'm just using the Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. I've got the shade 070 Porcelain. So she just sort of spreads it all over her face with her hands. But instead of just sort of putting it in a few places, she sort of like used her fingers to almost cover her skin like this. Not sure if that really makes any difference, but I'll just copy what she does. When I did the M to the B video, last year and it was like the tick my tiktok that went viral i woke up the next day and it had like a million likes i was still in shock because i was like oh my gosh that's that's a lot of likes <laughs> that is crazy she uploaded one tiktok video woke up the next day and it had a million likes not even a million views a million likes which means that probably i don't know well if i have a video that gets a million views on tiktok it usually gets about like 50k likes actually maybe more than that i don't know but that that is crazy she was sort of one of those people that just blew up overnight wow my eyelids are so veiny this is the thing like, i never see these celebrities put makeup like concealer or foundation on their eyelids but if i didn't do that my eyelids are so veiny <laughs> Don't get it on the lashes. Next, she's going next in with her concealer. concealer. I use um, NARS concealer. I just put it under like, under my eyes, just a little bit, just like that. So she's putting a little bit on her nose, under her eyes, on her chin and her forehead. This is honestly one of the most simple celebrity makeup routines that I've followed so far. So I've also got the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've got the shade 2.5 Creme Brulee and I'm gonna do exactly what she did. So she did a line here like that. Another line here, she puts a little bit on her nose. So I do have a couple more blemishes than Bella does. So I'm also gonna conceal those because I'm sure she would do the same. And the redness around my nose, that's gonna go as well. So... Let's blend out the concealer. Yeah, I really don't understand. Like, so many people hate on her. And I just don't get it. I think that she seems like a really sweet girl. She didn't choose to blow up on TikTok. It's not her fault that people want to watch her videos. Like, 
What do you expect her to do? Block everyone? <laughs> I think a lot of the time with these things, it ultimately comes down to jealousy. People are like, how is this girl just blown up on TikTok overnight? She's made it her career. She's now got like a music career. She's signed to like a record label, I think. People are mad that their video didn't blow up, you know? <laughs> and also as well, what I don't get with TikTok is like there's so much hate on there. It is so easy to just scroll off the video. If someone's video comes up and you don't like it or you find them annoying, you can literally just scroll up. You can even select an option that says, I'm not interested in this and it won't show you the videos again. Or, you know, you can just not follow them. I don't understand. The next thing that I would definitely do is set my under eyes because as usual, like they're gonna crease like a bitch, but she doesn't, she goes straight in with her eyebrows. So we're just gonna follow that. My next step is my eyebrows. It's, I use um, Benefit. The difference between like Philippine makeup and the US makeup is that Philippines, they don't really like foundation or like really thick makeup. I guess cause it's so and hot in the Philippines. I noticed they like to put like the middle part of your lips, like make it like reddish pink. That's basically like the, the look. Oh. empty let me go get another one so she's using the benefit brow pencil you know what i actually think she's using the other one i think she's using goof proof i'm just using the precisely my brow which obviously is a very similar benefit brow product and she just seems to very naturally fill in her brows she's got quite dark sort of thin but defined eyebrows anyway so i don't really think she put much in them i'm just neatening them up a little bit obviously our eyebrows are very different so i'm just gonna Leave it at that, I think. I think that's okay. Okay, so the next step is I use this bronzer by Charlotte Tilbury. I really like okay. it. I've been using it for a while now. First, I start off with like my cheeks. Nice. I like to like contour my nose. I just use like my finger. It matches my skin pretty well. Oh my god, she uses her that's finger to contour her nose. Paper contour and the bronzer. That nose contour looks so good on her. How has she done that with her fingers? I don't have the individual Charlotte Tilbury bronzers, but I do have this palette, which has got one of the bronzers in it. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look of Love in a Palette, pretty blushed palette. And on the inside, you just get a bronzer, you get a powder, a blush highlight, and then three eyeshadow shades. How are you supposed to fit a blush brush in there? Can you see how much my under eyes have creased? Like, oh my God, on my eyelids as well. Um, I'm just gonna, lightly set my eyelids because they are so creasy. How do people with lash extensions function? Because like, just how? How do you not get stuff in your eyelashes? Okay, let's take some of this bronzer. So she sort of taps it on her cheekbones. I do love how simple her routine is. And then she does some on her forehead as well. And then yeah, the thing that absolutely blew my mind is that she contoured her nose with her fingers. She's just sort of dabbing it on. That's all of what, what I And it looks so good. I've never tried this before. Okay, bronzer. let's take some bronzer. She put bronzer on her jawline as well. Did you guys just see that? I just, I just dipped my finger in the bronzer and then went like this to tap it off as if any is gonna come off by doing that. Yeah, how is she doing this with long nails? Because I'm struggling to not stab myself. Oh, I guess I need to use my other finger, don't I? That would be easier. That's actually worked really well. Although I think it looks a little bit intense. Does it look a bit intense? I'm probably gonna watch this back and be like, wow, so if you probably should have blended it a bit more, but that's all that she seemed to do. Next, I'm gonna do my lips and I get this from Charlotte Tilbury and it's Pillow okay. Talk. It's like one of my favorite lip liners. So, um, also one of my face. I feel like you just gotta embrace like where you're from. And I came to the United States when I was like 14 and I got bullied a lot. And yeah, so many bad experiences I went through in high school just because of what I look like. I feel like it still happens a lot and it needs to be like talked about more because it's not okay to like, I agree with her there. That's quite sad, actually. Even if after I graduated high school, I still had like my high school bullies just bullying me on my Instagram posts. I feel proud of myself for 
just believing in myself and getting this far in my life. Honestly, I bet those people that bullied her and now probably trying to get in touch with her to be like, oh my God, Bella, you're doing so well. Why is that always the way? She should feel proud of herself. My next step is lipstick and this is my favorite from Gucci. Okay, she bougie. She's got that Gucci lipstick. I couldn't afford this probably like a year ago. I'm just so grateful now that I can afford this these like things. That is absolutely mad. She's gone from having like not a lot of social following to doing a tutorial on Vogue in a marble bathroom with a silk robe on and wearing Gucci lipstick. I'm, I'm very grateful. I want to make everyone proud and especially Philippines, like that's my home. <laughs> See, she seems so sweet. I, on the other hand, do not have a Gucci lipstick, but I did have a look on the color online because they linked the products. And it's actually, I'm not just saying this, it looks like a very similar color to my tinted lip balm from Revolution. So if anyone, you know, is wanting to get some more affordable lip products, highly recommend this. You don't have to, but I will leave it linked down below. It just looks like a moisturizing pink color that she put on. This is from my lip kit, which also does come with a lip liner. I didn't use the lip liner today because I was sticking to the Charlotte Tilbury one. Oh, and this is from the Candy Icing Lip Kit. There's also another one that's like a darker shade, which is called Toffee Drizzle. We have the blush. A lot of people ask me what I use and how I do my, my classic. So you've got blush. M to the B, Bella. M to the look. B. That's because that is the video that of hers that just blew up of her lip syncing along to Millie B. Honestly, how did that blow up again? The trick to it is you put it not too close to like your under like under your eyes and make it look like you just got sunburned. Okay, this is crazy to me. A lot of people use makeup brushes for like their entire face. I feel like Sometimes it's good to use like your your fingers because you can control how much you put in it and then you can make it look natural. <laughs> okay, wow. So she uses her fingers. This is a powder blush from Tarte. This isn't the same, sh I don't think this is the same shade that she uses. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Ornate. I've just got the little like mini version. But yeah, she's using her fingers and she just takes some of this. Okay, I'm kind of scared. I don't want to put too much. And then she just puts it all along, sort of under her eyes, as if she was sunburned. Oh, my under eyes are still so creased. Am I cheating if I put a tiny bit of powder under my eyes? She puts on quite a lot. Just put a little bit on top of like your nose bridge. I have to say, I've never put on powder products with my fingers before, but it seems to work really well for her. And then exaggerate more put more in these areas i'm trying to sort of blend it in as well does this look okay i don't know if this does look okay i don't know if i can pull this off for me personally i would probably find it a bit easier just to use a brush because that's what i'm more used to and i think it would blend a little bit better if i did use a brush but it does look quite cute it definitely does give that sunburn effect okay cool let's go on next step highlighter you notice like in my m to the b video my face is kind of like glowy and like very shiny <laughs> it's because of the highlighter first i put it is that a dior inner... highlight oh it is it's a dior highlighter that looks stunning i don't have dior i do have my sofax revolution one which looks like a similar shade i'm gonna take this shade here which is from the cookies and cream palette and then i put it on the tip of my nose again she's using her fingers and then you put it on your chin Look shiny, cute. I've done a little bit on my nose. She puts a bit on her chin. The only problem is I've got a fat spot on my chin and I don't really want to highlight that. So I'll put it just in like the center of my chin, I guess. It feels so unnatural to me to put highlighter on before I've set my face. I'm basically setting my face with highlighter right now. Put a little bit on the cheek. Now you guys know how to do it. So even on her cheek, she's using her fingers to apply the highlighter. Um, What do we think? I use this for like, my eye makeup and everything. This is literally the only brush. And so I just put some like right here. So now last thing, I'm gonna brush out my eyelash extensions. 
I don't have lash extensions. I can pretend to brush them out. Do I even have a spoolie? Let's just uh, brush out my lash extensions. This is the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's it. That is the end of her makeup routine. Let me just zoom you in. So here we go. This is the Bella Porge makeup tutorial with Vogue. You know what? I actually really, really like the finished outcome. I think I probably like it more because I have put some lashes on and I, I think that whenever you have lash extensions, it's just gonna make the whole look a lot more simple anyway because you don't really need to do anything to your eyes but I would usually put some bottom lash mascara on or just something underneath my eyes but she doesn't put anything on her lower lash line she literally just leaves it as her lash extensions and I actually kind of like the look of this it looks very fresh very youthful it's very glowy um yeah I like it what do we think of the blush is it a bit much is it not enough in real life it does look a little bit crazy I think on camera it doesn't quite look as intense I know this is a bit of a weird thing to spay, to spay, <laughs> to say, especially for British people that like, you know, we don't ever praise ourselves pretty much. I feel pretty with this makeup look. I think it's definitely boosted my confidence, but again, that could be due to the lashes. <laughs> I don't know. Right everyone, so that was me following Bella Porch's makeup tutorial. Go check it out on Vogue's YouTube channel. Overall though, I think that her makeup routine is very easy and I think she seems really sweet. Right, I'm gonna answer a question of the day. As usual, if you guys have got any questions for me, leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day and I might answer it in my next video. And the reason I asked you to use the hashtag is just so I can find the questions a bit easier. Today's question comes from Percy Does Everything and they have said, I'm very excited for your upcoming collab. Cannot wait to see it all. Also loving this icy blue look. Thank you very much. Question of the day, any mascara tips as far as applying it and making it look even without poking yourself in the eye or getting it everywhere but your lashes. Tips and tricks, even brands would be helpful. So in terms of like, I guess I don't really have specific brands that I recommend for mascaras, but what I would recommend, if you do struggle getting it on your skin, go for a mascara that's got quite a thin brush because some mascaras have got massive wands and I think the bigger the wand the more likely you probably are to get it on your skin especially if it's a very wet formula so if you do particularly struggle with getting it all over the place maybe try using one that has a slim wand like the L'Oreal Telescopic I'd really recommend or Maybelline Sky High something along those sort of lines I guess what you could do if you do get it on your skin is sort of like hold something on your eyelid while you do your mascara like just even put your finger there because then you can wash your fingers or like a piece of paper or like um, a, cotton a cotton pad or something like hold it here and then do your mascara and then tips that I would recommend when you are putting on your mascara to get it even if I just use um, what did I do with that spoolie if I just use this for an example instead of putting your mascara on like this just like doing that really get it at the root wiggle 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 Wiggle, 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 yeah. Okay, so wiggle at the very root of your lashes and then drag up and then repeat that. And if you do get any clumps, what I just like to do is sort of like pinch the ends of my lashes with my fingers to just get rid of any clumps or sort of like use my nail very carefully to just sort of like knock the clump off the end of my lash and then obviously like go wash my fingers. Oh, and also it's probably easier instead of looking up into a mirror because then your lashes are more likely to sort of like touch your eyelids. I would recommend looking down into a mirror. Hopefully that helped. Right, I'm gonna leave this here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think this is gonna be quite a short and sweet video. If you did enjoy this type of thing, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if there's any other celebrity makeup tutorials that you want me to follow because like I said, I love doing these. They're super fun. I will leave everything that I used down below. I hope you guys are doing good and I will see you in my next video. Bye.